freedom. I've got some rather interesting advice for you. So someone recently uh, was sharing with me a story about how they were getting hate on their channel. Now, anyone who's achieved any form of success here on YouTube, um, whether it be a small amount or a large amount, will be able to tell you that it comes with the territory. For every, let's say, five to 10 people who have something nice to say, there are going to be people who have something not so nice to say. The reason that I bring this up is because when dealing with trolls, or uh, that's the overarching term I'm going to use. Now, a troll in this definition is someone who, not necessarily someone who just has a different opinion or something like that, but someone who intentionally goes out of their way to cheese you off. We're gonna call them trolls. Dealing with trolls is fairly easy. In fact, I have made a video on it previously. If you check the eye on screen now, you'll see an old, old, old video that I'm somewhat embarrassed to send you to where I talk about this topic. But that video boils down to hug the trolls. Engage them in conversation. Don't let them rule you. Don't make decisions on your channel based on that. Anything and everything you do on YouTube can lead to negative criticism. Or sometimes some people just, they, they, they don't want to give negative criticism, so they just leave a few, you sucks, or whatever on your channel, and they keep coming back. Why do they keep coming back? Well, the truth of the matter is that if they took the time to not only subscribe, but they also took the time to do something like continuously commenting, they're looking for some form of attention from you uh, or your community. Usually speaking, when, when this happens, you'll find that if you engage this person in discussion, you can build a rapport so that if, at the very least, if they don't like your content, they'll respect you enough to leave you alone. Now, if this is not the case, that's what the ban and report buttons are for here on YouTube. You can make sure that they, their comments don't show up on your channel. You can make sure that you don't hear from them again. And in some ways this works, in other ways it doesn't. In some ways it may just make it so that you don't see that person's comment anymore, but your other fans and followers might. As far as, you know, how to effectively wipe someone off of your channel so that they have no effect, that's probably a tutorial left for a, another day. Here, I just wanna go over and make sure that anyone and everyone out there who's dealing with hate, that you, you consider the fact that there could be factors at play that you're not taking into consideration. A little bit of it is that it just comes with the territory. A little bit of it is maybe people who aren't as articulate about what you could do better. I can't tell you the number of times that I've had people leave comments like, your videos suck. And after engaging with them and having to more or less beat it out of them, they'll, they'll say things like, well, your chroma keying isn't that great. Your editing isn't as tight as what it should be. You have a tendency to yammer on and on for far too long. Okay, but in these threads, sometimes it'll take up to 10 messages before I actually get that out of them just because of how much they assume that we already know about our own flaws or just how inarticulate they are. As anyone who's dealt with school bullying will tell you, some people will tell you to ignore the problem and they'll go away. Sometimes this works, sometimes this does not. However, I would caution you to let things try to run their course. Remember, moderating comments on your channel is something that you will always have to do. Whether it be just getting rid of the people trying to give out your real name and address or whatever the case is, this is something that you'll always have to keep an eye out for because when anyone and everyone can say whatever it is they want, they're going to. So don't ever get yourself into a position where you have one or maybe two people who just show up every couple of videos, you know, to say nasty things and you let that ruin your life or let it ruin your mood. This is YouTube. It's known for a very toxic, toxic comment section. Here on Freedom Central, we don't have that problem as much. However, anyone, as I said, who has spent a lot of time in the YouTube comment section, should be able to tell you it's not somewhere that most people want to be and there's a good reason for that as i sort of teased earlier in the video there are tools that you can use to be able to help manage this 
These are, of course, your, your flagging, your, your bans, your mutes, and things like that in the YouTube comment section and on your channel settings. Please do use these if you need to. However, I would caution to just try to be the bigger person and walk away first. If that doesn't work, then do what you gotta do. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, Freedom Family. Thank you for watching another Freedom video. If you'd like to connect with us on our socials, be sure to check out, whoa, our Facebook, whoa, sh our Twitter, whoa, Facebook groups, whoa, of course, our support Twitter, whoa, and of course, the forums, whoa, I am so gonna drop these. Anyways, thanks for watching, whoa.